Hello guys, welcome to Solving Solutions on Brand Channel where I get solutions to all your solving problems. It's nice having you in class again today, how have you been? On today's tutorial, we are going to show you how to use them ArcGIS to combat coordinates, right? Good. So first off, let's import our data. So we go to File, we go to um, Add Data, then we go to what? Add XY Data. So we have the window here, let's browse. Okay. So we have done the folder connection and what we need is what data underscore, right? Good. And it's saved in um, CSV, right? From the data, we have the X field to be the longitude, Y, the latitude, and perhaps Z to be what the altitude. Then we don't know the coordinate reference system of the input um, coordinate, right? Good. So we edit. It's a geographic coordinate system. So we open up geographic. We come down to world and then we select WGS 1984, right? Good. So we have assigned that geographic coordinate system to what? As the coordinate system of what this data, right? Okay. Okay. So we have our points here or the coordinates here. The first thing is that since it's just um, a table, let's change it to a feature class by um, exporting it and then having it what as a shape file right good so we right click go to data and then we click on export now we are exporting all the features and then um let's browse so let's still call this what data right good we say data underscore ss and then we can see the type to be a shape file then we save click on OK. Yes, we want to import that. So we can decide to take this one out. Remember, they are both on the same point. So we can decide to take what this table out and then have only our shape file. The next thing is for us to confirm from the properties. Yes, we have it as what a geographic word coordinate system. So we are going to change the coordinate system of this our data set, right? Good. So we come down to search and then we search for project, right? Now we have the project um, under data management. Then what does it do? It projects a special data from one coordinate system to another. So our input feature class will definitely be what data underscore SS. Then you can see that it has been automatically indicated that um, the feature class is in WGS 1984. Then the output feature class where we want it to be. So, so we have a data projected SS right good. Click on save. Very important, we have what the output coordinate system. That is the coordinate system we are now projecting it to right good so it's a projected coordinate system we scroll down to utm then we go to ws 1984 northern hemisphere then we look out for the zone so the data is actually in um, utm zone 33 north right good so we select that and we click on ok now this part of the video is actually very important because this is where we now change it or we now convert it or we now transform it or we now project it. There might be some slight differences, but we are trying to what, convert coordinates from one um, projection system to another, right? We know from one system to another. So we have it in what zone 33 now. Then we can click on OK. We have the success report here. And then we can decide to import the data we have just um, projected, right? Okay, so this is our folder. We can just drag this and then drop. And we put this out, right? Good. So they are all in the same location. The next part is let's open our attribute table. Now from our attribute table, we can see the shape the longitude, latitude, and the altitude, right? Good. And before we also proceed, let's check the properties now. You can now see it on what a projected coordinate system, unlike when it was what geographic, which is this other layer, right? Good. So just for comparison, 
which is what the GCS WGS 1984, right? Good. So we would come back to this new. Okay, it's already open. And then we are going to create um, two new fields. The first field is called um, the Easting. And then the data type will be double. I'll make this 20. And I'll make this 20 as well. Right, good. Similarly, we'll create another field and we call this um, northern right double I'll make this 20 I'll make this 20 and I'll click on OK so these new fields that have been created will now contain the coordinates that will be converted from this um, latitude and longitude towards the eastern and the northern right but so we click on the column there right click and then we calculate geometry there's a one in here now the east thing is actually the x coordinate of points right good and then the coordinate system we are using is the projected crs not the geographic right good see the pcs and the gcs so we are using projected and then the units is actually in meters, right? Good. So we click on OK. There's another one in. So we have what our east in here. Similarly, if we come to the northern column and we do the same thing. Yes. This will now be for the Y, right? Good. Still meters. And then we click on OK. Good. So we have successfully converted our coordinates from what this um, longitude and latitude to what eastern and northern using um, ArcGIS, right? Good by following the steps we have shown on the tutorial, right? Good. So having done this, you can decide to, okay, let's close this and then open it up again. You still see that the fields are still there on our attributes table, right? Good. So, having done this, you can decide to export this table to a format that um, you can actually use the coordinates, right? Good. Or you can actually copy it out directly from the attribute table. So, thanks for coming to class. We hope we have shown you how to use them um, actually to convert coordinates right good so we are going to see you on the next tutorial ensure you keep staying safe and have a very good time bye